Uh, my name is Rosanna Schaefer, and I'm the president of the Newfane Historical Society. And I'm mostly here, I do the tours, um, the haunted tours, and the haunted um, investigations here at the Van Horn Mansion um, on a regular basis. The most notable story here is about Melinda uh, Van Horn. She was married to the oldest son, James Jr. And the story of her possibly being left behind, why she was left behind when the family was moved, um, and about her child that did survive her death. Um, whether that was all true, um, whether it happened a different way, um, it's basically up in the air of what happened. It's a mystery. Um, and I do believe she is here. Um, I actually have seen her twice in the attic um, and she wasn't a very happy person at that time so I believe that the story wasn't really told right. Um, but the story behind Melinda and why she's still here, um, we actually um, originally had the whole family bur buried here on the premises and they were exhumed at the turn of the century except for her. They couldn't find her grave anywhere. Well, there's multiple things that's happened here. Um, we have records, and when I say records, pictures, voice recordings, uh, tape recordings of at least eight spirits here. And, and I know personally myself that there is a lot more than that. Um, we've had, actually, if you stand right where we're standing today, there's been recently quite a lot of response to a woman screaming. And it actually sounds like it's coming from the attic above the dome. Um, but you cannot just hear it here. Traveling through the mansion, you can hear it, and it's a really shrieking scream. Um, that actually just happened in the last year, but there's been also sightings, um, not only in the house, but outside on the grounds. Um, there actually was a long time ago, a trolley system that ran in front of the mansion, and there was a serious accident on that trolley system in front of the mansion and one gentleman, a young man, passed away. Uh, and there were sightings of a tall gentleman, um, a black shadow, that was constantly out in the front yard. Uh, so basically, that's just one of many. So basically, what I do on Sundays is people come in from one to four, and we do a basic tour. If I see that they're interested in um, the spirits here, then I bring that into it. But if they're small children, I tend to not bring that into the question. Although some of them really like, the kids really like that. I, I hope they walk away with the history. And, and actually the paranormal wouldn't be anything without the history and vice versa. And, and the structure. A lot of people come here because of the structure and the magnificent um, way it's positioned um, in the story of the family, in the story of the community. Um, so basically I hope they walk away with at least the history because history dies too fast and um, that's what we try to promote. Mm -hmm.